Hello there, um, welcome back. I thought I'd do another one. I'm on a roll. Um, this is Dark Art Pro. Um, I thought I'd talk about. I've got this about a billion videos in this on YouTube, but I thought I'd talk about airbrushes again. Yes, airbrushes, but in the real state, in the real world, <laughs> what they really look like. Um, and how I got a hold of them. Like I said in my first video, my first airbrush was this, um, uh, I bought it, it was second hand off eBay. It was a good deal, about 90 quid, and I've got quite a few sort of con art, sort of media, uh, sort of portrait paints with them, which is really good, because they were kind of, a pretty billy bonus, so I got those. Um, so I got this um, HPC, this is High Performance Plus, um, High Precision, High detail work. And it's 0.3 mil. I'm not a complete expert on this. Not not like these guys at work at all watch anything. But I I've got some experience with how they work and how to clean them and well and, and 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 what it entails really. But this has been an actual diamond. It's it's a it is a, a complete uh, joy of an airbrush to work with. Um, it stands up. I mean I use. <coughs> I use solvent-based paste. So I want paint. So, sorry, I can't speak. Um, which is Inspire. I'll, I kind of use Inspire. Uh, there you go. There's one there. Inspire. I specialist paints. I use different candies. Um, that's candy greens. Bit battered. That. Love that candy green. It's really cool. Uh, I love the names of these. Look like asphyxiated blue. I like a bit of death and destruction. Right, I'll put that back there. Oh, one more. I'll show you one more. One more. And brutal candy red. Okay, cool. Uh, but I wanted the airbrushes that could stand up to the solvent-based paints. You know, because not have the uh, the seals can't stand up to a solvent-based paint because it just corrode them and it makes a mess. Um, so I spent ages researching these, and to be fair, I didn't even know that solvent-based paints existed before I found this. Um, but I was trying to cover every sort of angle, really. So, yeah, I love this airbrush. Um, it's a core of my work. Uh, and as for fine detail, actually, you can, you can pull a really, really fine line. Uh, I'll demonstrate it in the next video, um, um, hopefully, if I can uh, not make a mess of that. Yeah, so... It pulls quite a fine line, and and uh, you'd be surprised what sort of results you can get from from this this uh, airbrush. Um, absolutely love it. It's really solid. Not many working parts. It comes apart really nice and easy. Uh, it says that. There you go. Oh, it's a bit dirty needle, that, isn't it? At least that's real life for you. I'm gonna pop that back in. I've got the glasses. Put them in there. Uh, but yeah, it's been it's been absolute a, a delight to work with. So I wouldn't recommend, I'd recommend this highly enough. I don't know how much they are now. I think they're probably brand new. They're probably quite a lot, I guess. There you go. Got a fine needle on it. I think that's focusing. Um, but yeah, it's still up to loads. I mean, I've replaced little bits and parts on it. I've replaced certain sections when I've lost them on the floor, like the chuck there. And, and uh, But apart from that, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So yeah, that was my first airbrush. Highly recommended Awata HPC, but you can get loads of different Awatas, you know, with a similar sort of um, needle range. Um, some are more detailed, some more for more detail work, but some are not so. But you know, they're, they're recognised, aren't they, Awata? So yeah, you can't I can't recommend it enough. Um, uh, yeah, I think they do sort of um, a cheap cheaper versions as well. But uh, as a Neo, I think the Neo, which is is kind of popular. Anyway, so that's High Performance Plus. Great, great little airbrush. And then I thought, right, what I need is um, something for more detail. I was getting a bit more advanced in my work and I, and I wanted to get finer detail and I was convinced it's not me, <laughs> which it probably was. But I was convinced if I have better tools, I can I can do the job. Not always the way, to be fair. Um, but anyway, so I thought I want to get a more finer detail one. And I, I really wanted... Um, if I could afford it, the, the custom icon, which oh, now I do own, which is, is wonderful. But I thought, uh, I watched a guy called Sve, Sven Wheeler Wheel, Wheel or something. Oh, I can't remember his name now, but he's great as on YouTube. He does guitars, a uh, really, really uh, good airbrusher. And he was using the Infinity, Hardness Sneeback Infinity, which I think is a, a German 
crew um, and this has uh, kind of different types of needles and I think it's a point one five one five needle which is really fine um, but my knowledge of reductions of paint uh, when I sort of got all of this wasn't great so if you start going down to certain needles yeah point point one five yeah um, nozzle um, so yeah and a two more culture uh, so anything when you start going to finer sort of details you need to have the understanding of how to reduce your, your paint and what consistency otherwise they clog and I tell you what I've that much experience with clogging and dirty stuff um, uh, yeah so I've got the infinity so here let's open this one up it's a beautiful looking airbrush um, I've got a bit of spring in there as well there you go um, there we go that's the infinity uh, it's a delight it is a lovely lovely airbrush um, needles extremely fine as you can see there it is quite a delicate airbrush it doesn't seem to be as tough as that one um, sort of tough and trouble but I think it's 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 designed for what it's designed for it is absolutely delight, delight to to um, airbrush with but again it's about reduction of reduction of your paint you've got interchangeable cups so you've got a smaller cup for, so you can just look over it because um, there's obviously a gravity feed and I like the gravity feeds uh, so which you can put a bigger cup in if you wanted oh, it's a bit dirty look these are clean I shouldn't be showing this on, on my video not all sparkly but that's real life isn't it um, so yeah so this was a, a well it is a great airbrush but it is slightly delicate I have the nozzle on this is now split a little well a little uh, where the needle sits so I need to replace that um, it sits within there it's like a separate nozzle I'll, I'll separate it up for you another time and I'll show you yeah so that, that that's just over wear and tear um, I think they're about 15 quid so I just need to replace that but yeah so that was the infinity and I had a lot of it I had a lot of more um, difficulty with this just because a the reduction of paint and the fact that when I draw the trigger back it wasn't as a, as reactive as the Iwata. I was so used to the Iwata that this just had a little bit of a lag before the paint came through but you kind of get used to it the more you use it the the, the, um, the better you get but when it flows well gosh it's just an incredible incredible airbrush so I can understand why a lot of professionals did use this do use this and still use it um, but yeah so that was the infinity so this is kind of a brief overview of some of the airbrushes all brilliant and it amazes me the engineering these things really. okay so pop that in there I've, I've gone through quite a few needles before I finish with this dropped it many times I'm rubbish bent needles oh just I'm, I'm rubbish at it but the results are good was just are fabulous yeah really nice it's a beautiful looking thing as well I mean look at it you know what I mean Okay, we'll put that back in there. Put that over there. And then I, I, I kind of lived with those for a while. And I was hankering. I thought, oh, I haven't banged on it with this custom microns. I want a custom micron. I want one. But I, I did a few bonnet jobs. And I, and I did a uh, a, um, a, a T5.1 uh, engine core. Save my money. Because what I, what, I, what, I, what I put into my art, I take out. So I make money with the art. So I, I invest it back into my art. Um, I'm not never going to be a millionaire, but I decided to get a custom micron, which I don't have a heart attack. I mean, cause this was what say ninety pounds for that one. I think this is about hundred and sixty, which I've had palpitations about anyway. I was like, oh my god! Um, and then I went for ages looking at custom custom microns and the griots, um, and this, which is a similar sort. I think they're made in Japan as well. But I kept on leaning towards these. Um, anyway, so I, I bought this and I was, I might, as you open, it's like, ha, 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 ha. you get a lovely little thing, cloth thing, which actually is to prepare, it's pretty good. You put your stuff on it and so you don't lose it, which I tend to lose stuff when I start cleaning things. And you get this lovely box. I mean, look at it. I mean, it's like, it's like opening the Holy Grail, isn't it? Ha, 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 ha. 
anyway, yeah, so I got this custom micron, and um, yeah, I couldn't wait to get my paint in it again. From experience of working with the Infinity, uh, talk about reduction uh, of paint, which is really important for the smoothness of it and the flow and the PSI uh, being the right being the right place. So anything that kind of PSA, PSI for me, anything that's going to go find detail was like 20 bar. Using this, kind of 30. Kind of yeah. So it kind of like took me a while to figure out where it was. So anyway, I got this bad boy. Uh, and what, what a beautiful piece of engineering it is. So it's a bit dirty still, isn't it? On the outside, cleaning the inside. I'm having you know. Um, and what an airbrush! I mean, it's got a, a locking pick. A bit similar to the Infinity. It's got all these little features. It's not not a mag one. You can get a mag. You can get a mag valve on the on, a, on another type. I can't remember all the different types, but I I I just was quite happy with this um, custom micro. And that. And it is a absolute joy. CMC Custom Micron. Probably one of the best things I've bought, to be fair. Um, the control, the, the, it's just incredible. The, oh, I can't get it off. Okay, I'm stuck at it. The control is incredible. Uh, the lines it can pull uh, are so fine. It's unbelievable. But yeah, um, and it's just the smoothest again the trigger it's a nice big trigger on the top it sits nicely um but yeah I, I i kind of think you know um i was ready for this i think it took me a while but i, I think i was convinced myself i was ready for it and and to be fair as soon as i tried it i thought my god yeah it's just lifting my um my art now to a different level definitely not a beginner's one definitely not a beginner's one that's a good airbrush to start with. And there's the Eclipse as well, isn't there? Which is incredible as well. Um, but yeah, so I was very lucky enough to have one of these. Um, they're not cheap. It's 450 quid, I think, for that. Um, but I get mine... I got, it's, There's a lot of good deals. I got, I've got this airbrush and all my spares. I, I go to aircraftnet.com, which is um, based in England. I think isn't it? it might be in Scotland, even, actually. And they send some. They send some really kind of cool spares. They have spares repairs. Loads of different kinds of kit. But yeah, uh, I, this this was was. This is a, a definite. Uh, it's like having, um, the best Western weapon in your arsenal, isn't it? And I, I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. And you get all the nice gizmos. You get bits. We get like a filter here, and you get uh, some lube. Um. You get a sticker. Everyone likes, everyone likes stickers. Sticker, and there you go. And it's all they were individually tested by this bearded guy. Look, bearded guy. And look, look there you go. Um, you've probably seen us before on YouTube, anyway. Anyway, that's the range of range of um, airbrushes I use. If you want, I can do some more closer sort of looks at them. I, I will do. I think we'll go for each one. I'll show the different kinds of lines they pull, um, and we can compare them a little bit if you like. Uh, to pop it back in here, look at it's all a bit manky in it, but it's all right. But that's what we do in it, you know. You know, and if, it's, if you don't use it, it's not gonna, it's not good, is it? So wrap it up. Look, oh, I've even kept the box. <laughs> yeah. So that's the airbrushes I use. Um, like I say, you can, you don't have to start. I did buy a Chinese one, actually, as well. I'll show you that in a minute. Well, what's left of it? I've sort of like destroyed it, to be fair. Um, but these are my these are my, my bread and butter. These two work lovely in hand. They all work lovely in hand. Like I said, I just need to replace. There's a little nozzle inside there. I need to replace uh, just because it's split slightly. Just a little crack, which is not great for the airbrush. But anyway, um, I wouldn't recommend. I'd recommend harvesting back to anybody. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Awata, brilliant. Never tried Badger, um, but I've heard that great great stuff about them. Creos, not heard, not used on them. But now I think like technology with most airbrushes is great. But yeah, I, I think I'm an Awata man to be fair. Anyway, do you want to, shall I show you the, the China, it cost me like 20 quid. What's left of it is completely destroyed in my bits box. Look at it. <laughs> do you know what, it was all right. It was all right. It, it's, I, I used it for like putting, oh, you see it's still got colour in it. 
Um, it's got a mag thing that eh, eh, eh. God knows what it's made from. But do you know what? Some of the bits I, I used, I think I broke a spring on one of my airbrushes and I thought, I'll nick it out of that one. And it, and it worked. Uh, until I get a new one. And so on. So it kind of like, um, it, it became a donor. A donor. A donor airbrush. Um, you got all little bits. I'm always trying to copy your water and all that monkey. But I think it's like 30 quid. But do you know what? Before I destroyed it, I think I, I even put some clear coat in and see if it'll go through it. And I think that, that finished it off. But, um... Do you know what? You can replace the nozzles. You have different types of nozzles. 0.3. What's that one there? 0.05. I mean, that's fine, isn't it? Um, and they come with little nozzles like that. I think it was like 30 quid. Now, if you're just messing about, you want to see if you like it. Worth a try. Otherwise, don't bother. Put it trash. So, yeah, that's my amazing video on my airbrush that I own. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, if you have any questions please just comment below that would be really cool um, but yeah so I will do some art at some point um, I just need to think what we're going to do um, I think I've got an idea we'll just do a little uh, sample piece on some dye bond and then we'll uh, pull some lines and go through a process of how, how I um, create a piece and, uh, and I'll post it for your delight hopefully um, have a great day. Bye. Thank you.